Thank you to you guys who are joining me on Facebook Live. We're talking about the powerful Hurricane Delta in the Caribbean Sea. It is a Category 4 storm, and we're getting you the 1 p.m. Tuesday update on what's going on with it. Its winds have increased, steadily increased all day long, and since it formed uh, yesterday morning as a tropical depression and then tropical storm, and we are anticipating its forecast path to skirt the Yucatan Peninsula early tomorrow and then stay possibly a major hurricane. It is a cat four hurricane at this point. Stay a major hurricane as it moves into the Gulf of Mexico as we move into Wednesday, Thursday and then eventually Friday. Landfall along the Gulf Coast could be anywhere from East Texas to our Louisiana and kind of southeast shoreline. However, the center line for the forecast path this is four days out now, is right over central Louisiana, maybe near New Iberia or just to the west of Morgan City is where the actual line goes. So we do have time. There are days here where it's going to be near Mexico and then entering the Gulf Wednesday into Thursday and then getting near our coastline by Friday with a potential late Friday night or early Saturday landfall. So there is still time and we will likely see this shift a little bit more as we get into the coming days. Um, this far out for really any forecast, uh, little things can change to influence uh, slight things. And so in this case, of course, uh, the stakes are very high because where it does end up will greatly determine the actual actual numbers as far as the storm surge, how high that will uh, reach because of the sustained winds, how much rain we will get if we're closer to the center, it would be more and how strong those winds will be. Now we are seeing it strengthen as we move into uh, Tuesday afternoon and it may continue to strengthen. There is really nothing stopping it in this part of the Caribbean Sea. Very warm uh, waters here and the water is very deep too. So it has a lot of warm fuel to work with here and also no wind shear and no dry air really. There has been a little bit of dry air out to the northeast, uh, but really we're not seeing that obviously have any effect on what's going on with Delta and its intensification. Now I've been pointing out that it's wind speeds have increased. They've just blown up dramatically from 35 miles per hour yesterday morning, Monday morning. It was a depression, tropical depression 26, and just now to 140 miles per hour. That is four times its original uh, wind speeds from Monday morning. So with Hurricane Delta, what we've been saying is that the timing of the potential impacts for potentially southeast Louisiana would be Thursday, probably late, beginning to see rain or beginning to see some wind off of our coastline. Then during the day Friday especially, and as the timing has changed a little bit, it may continue with some effects, including rain and so forth, into early Saturday. In fact, early Saturday might be the key time. Now, this might be very early. At this point, it looks like kind of overnight Friday into early Saturday for a potential landfall, but that could easily change a little bit. Rain could be about two to five inches, although I will say that the Euro and the GFS, now it's to be taken with a grain of salt as we're days out and it could easily change. But those two models both have about one to three or so inches of rain for southeast Louisiana. So we will see, we will likely see these numbers change a little bit at least. Of course, the coastal flooding and storm surge issue for those along the shorelines, that will be an issue. We will have a powerful hurricane, it looks like, in the Gulf of Mexico, and those strong sustained winds will push the waters up. How much? Still hard to say at this point, as we don't know exactly where the landfall will be just yet. And the wind, of course, with a hurricane, hurricane force winds would be expected and tropical storm force winds extending out from the center, even though it is a small storm and small storms are um, able to intensify or weaken more rapidly uh, than a larger storm. It takes a lot more to get those to bump up in wind speed or bump down. So that's why part of why Hurricane Delta has been able to increase in intensity so much. So watches for the Gulf Coast will likely be issued. It looks like maybe when Wednesday. So tomorrow we may have some hurricane watches going and some other sort of uh, numbers. It looks like as we get into the next couple of days, the big factors, um, as you can see, I've been showing you the spaghetti models. They're kind of tightly clustered around central Louisiana for a landfall at this point, but we've seen them kind of switch a little bit. We've seen the whole group of these models uh, move a little bit farther to the west recently, and that might be due to the big high pressure area. We're expecting it to guide uh, Delta into the Gulf to the northwest. 
But something interesting is that if this turns out to be a little bit stronger and extend a little bit farther into the Gulf, it might bring Delta pretty far off to the northwest over near the Texas coast. Then the trough of low pressure. So this is some troughing and a surface front that we'll see um, across the US that will slide in and start to pull Delta to the north and then eventually direct it out to the northwest. So that's why you see these computer models. I did want to show you that this turn. Uh, you can see the range anywhere from sort of south of almost Texas and the Louisiana state line. It would eventually make that northeasterly movement, but it might be there or it could be a little bit more south of maybe the New Orleans area. We will see uh, how far Delta is able to get into the Gulf of Mexico and that a turn guided by the high and the trough of low pressure will really be key. Uh, just to give you a couple of ideas, this is the GFS model. This will almost certainly change. These model runs uh, come in several times a day for the GFS, but note that at this point, the latest run does have a landfall maybe around New Iberia or just a little bit farther to the slightly to the west of the extreme just kind of center of Louisiana, right around the Atchafalaya Basin, and that could be Friday night. It had an 8 p.m. landfall. Switch over to the Euro model, and it has a landfall right at the Louisiana Texas state line. Unfortunately, pretty close to where Hurricane Laura made landfall over southwest Louisiana, and that would be Saturday morning. This is just something to show you right now. Neither of these is set in stone by any means. In fact, the Euro is a bit of an outlier off to the west of the pack of those computer models that you saw that are a little bit farther east at this point. All of this could change a bit, and of course, a bit is going to make a big impact on who gets the center of the storm and gets all of those direct impacts. Right now, it's 78 in New Orleans. It feels like 80, our dew point is edging up. We have clouds, and we have had just a few showers along our coast, and it's been keeping temperatures only in the low 70s for coastal spots. There are those showers. We have a slight chance for a little bit of that to um, increase over land areas later today. This won't be really significant rain or anything like that. It would just be sort of a nuisance shower, I think, over some spots. But just to show you one more time uh, that intensification in case you missed it, it's just really, um, really stunning to see. If this is the type of environment uh, where this would happen. There was warm waters without really any obstacles of the Caribbean Sea. But look at the intensification from Monday morning, 35 mile per hour winds. Then last night becoming a hurricane. This morning it was a category two and then as of 1 p.m. 140 mile per hour winds and just to look at the Saffir Simpson hurricane wind scale and just remind you of that category three is up to 129 miles per hour. Category four is 130 to 156 and category five is 157. We don't want to uh, even think about that at this point. So we are watching Delta. We're going to have more um, specifics on impacts coming up, but it's still a ways out. It would be again, maybe Friday night into early Saturday for a Gulf Coast landfall. So I know there are a lot of questions and I think specifics will be coming, but it is still in the Caribbean Sea. Uh, it hasn't even moved into the Gulf, but that will happen. It looks like tomorrow as it continues on its northwest journey. So I would say when we look at our seven day forecast uh, to Today, tomorrow, those would be good days to get any hurricane preparations done because this is going to be a powerful storm making landfall somewhere along the Gulf Coast, perhaps just west of southeast Louisiana, but this is going to be very significant, I think, for whoever it does uh, end up near. So if you need to make preparations today and tomorrow, we just have slight rain chances. It'll be kind of warmish tomorrow, more clouds. And then Thursday, we may start to see some effects, especially late in the day and maybe into Thursday night. We might see some rain or some winds picking up perhaps. The main day, I think, would be Friday, especially late and into early Saturday for a potential rain uh, landfall. That's how it's looking right now. Now, by Sunday and Monday, we'll be drying out and things will be improving maybe even as early as late Saturday with the timing that we're thinking right now. It's still only midday Tuesday, uh, so we do have a long time to talk about Delta. We will have tons more information. We have a special um, uh, newscast as we move into this evening. We will have um, on Channel 4 Eyewitness News covering all of this. Um, Chief Meteorologist Chris Franklin will take you through uh, what he's seeing, and we will also, of course, have uh, extra um, updates coming up for you here on Facebook Live and elsewhere as we move into the next few days. So we'll be with you through it all, and we are several days out, uh, so we do have a lot to cover in the next couple of days. So take care, everyone, and hope to see you soon.